Hello, my friends. Hello, and welcome once again to Stately Vaughn Manor, where I forgot... Roger! Where the hell is... Where's Roger? Hello, my friends. Hello, and welcome once again to Stately Vaughn Manor, where... Today, I'm going to be talking a little bit more about the 500 book challenge. The challenge I'm on to read 500 books that I already own before I buy any new ones. So, I'm talking about this challenge today that I am on because of a video that I made yesterday. So, I made a video yesterday called The Importance of Physical Media. I think that's what I called it. It was a long time ago, Roger. Yesterday. It was, it was a while ago. Anyway, I made this video in which I talk about how Amazon destroyed comiXology and took a good thing and made it terrible and is probably going to make comiXology go away altogether. And basically, I went on about how evil Amazon is because, you know, let's face it, it is. And I talked about the importance of physical media. And one of the things I talked about is I did uh, bring up the subject of ebooks and how you don't really own your ebooks. It's true. Uh, you basically, for the ebooks that you buy from the Kindle store on Amazon, you're basically paying for access. You're paying to access these books. It's an agreement more than a purchase, really. So, at any time, if Amazon wants, it can alter the copy of the book that you have. It could change it. It could switch around the covers. It does that. Amazon does that all the time. And also, if, it wa if Amazon wants to, they can take your book and just take it away if they feel like it. And really all they owe you, as far as I understand, they owe you a refund for that, I believe. But they can certainly do it. Now, it's unlikely that they will. It's, this is an unlikely occurrence that they'll actually take a book out of your library. It's, yeah, the chances of that might seem remote, but they could do it. And, you know, you never know what's going to happen with big companies, you know. Five years down the road, maybe there'll be a huge corporate shakeup. Maybe there's, so there's something else that will happen. And they might decide, you know what, maybe we will take away these certain ebooks for this certain reason. You know, you never know. You never know. You, because you do not own the ebooks that you buy on the Kindle store. Now, it occurred to me after I made this video that I'm on the 500 book challenge where I have to read 500 books that I already own before I stop laughing at me. He's been laughing at me for the past two days. So, I mean, Roger laughs at me all the time, but now he's, Roger's got a reason. So yeah, this is a challenge that was adapted from Criminali's read what you own challenge. So, so, my Kindles, I have a few Kindles. I recently bought one that I just threw and landed on the floor. So, I recently bought that thing and I kind of regret it now just because Amazon's so damn evil. And I was thinking, you know what? After really seeing what they did to Comixology and how and what contempt Amazon holds Comixology's customers, I thought, you know what? I'm not going to give Amazon any more money. I decided I'm not going to purchase anything from Amazon unless I really have to, you know. Uh, if I really, really need something, I guess, that I can't find any place else, I guess I would. But otherwise, you know what? I'm going to 
put make an effort to spend money other places. Spend my money other places. Maybe even if it's a little bit more expensive. Never going to buy another digital comic, but, and I'm never going to buy another ebook from Amazon. I already decided that yesterday. But I already have a pretty big library on Kindle in the cloud. It's in the cloud. It's not really in a cloud, but I already have a pretty big library on Kindle, which I don't own actually. And so I was figured, well, you know, I'll just, you know, I have the Kindles already. I could just read what I already have, just like I'm doing for the 500 book challenge, the read what you own challenge. And then, yes, it struck me that I don't own these books. So technically, technically, on a technicality, they probably shouldn't count, right, for the read what you own challenge. Now, this is, this is pushing things. I, I understand that you could tell me, hey, you know, you could always take these ebook files and stash them away so Amazon could never take them. So, you know, you do really own them if you hide them, you know, from Amazon. <laughs> I kind of feel like you shouldn't have to do that. I realize this is a little bit silly and it's perhaps my OCD tormenting me once again. But technically, technically, all the books that I bought on the Kindle store, I don't own. So technically, they shouldn't count for my read what you own challenge, the 500 books that I already own. Shouldn't count for this challenge. So technically, on a technicality. So this is going to change things up a bit, you know. Because now, I'm not going to read any of the books that I bought on the Kindle store for this challenge. It's only going to be physical books. I suppose I could... There are ebooks I've gotten from other places. So I guess those would count. Might be stretching a point. I, I know that if like I were to download something from Project Gutenberg, I guess I would own that. No one's gonna take that away. So there is that, you know, e-reading isn't completely out, I suppose. But mostly it looks like it's going to be physical books. Fortunately, the book I'm reading now, Wolf Hall, which is pretty good actually. Uh, well, I'm not that far into it. How many pages I, I'm in, I, I read 30 pages of this so far. <laughs> But the first 30 pages are good, so I have this, which is the book I'm reading now physically. And I do have way over 500 physical books. So, yeah, it looks like I'm going physical for the 500 book challenge. Now, what does this mean? Well, so far, I've read 31 books. But one of those... Fortunately, it's only one. One of those was an ebook that I bought on Amazon, which was a Clark Ashton Smith book, uh, The End of the Story, which had formatting issues. It had this thing where, like, you'd go halfway through a sentence sometimes and it would break into a new paragraph that, and this paragraph isn't supposed to be there. It just, it was, it had issues, that ebook, which was annoying. If I had a physical copy of it, it wouldn't, I guarantee you, it wouldn't have that issue. So, but that was an ebook that I read for the challenge. So that no longer counts. So that knocks me down to 30. So I've read 30 books, which compared to some of the other people doing the 100 or 500 book challenge, not, not great, but you know, for me, I guess it's all right. So I'm down to 30 books now. And going forward, this will affect things in certain other things that I'm going to be doing, like Stephen King in particular. Although I do have a lot of Stephen King physical books, and I'm way behind anyway. It'll probably take me, who knows, who knows at what point this will actually affect me for the Stephen King thing, reading every book by Stephen King. 
I guess it depends on how long it takes me to read 500 books before I could buy any new ones. It will affect some of the books I was planning on reading. Um, yeah, this will change things up a little bit. It'll change things. Only physical books now, for the most part. No Kindle books, because I don't own them. So yeah, that's, that's what's going to, going to happen going forward. And it's, it's funny, you know, in thinking about all of this stuff that I've been thinking about lately, and especially with reading and learning more about the whole comiXology fiasco, I'm feeling better about physical books, and I wasn't feeling that great about ebooks anyway. I think, I don't think ebooks e are bad. I don't think e-readers are a bad thing, you know. They're, it's a good way to read a book. I've said that before many times. But I think physical books are better just because of the whole, the way you purchase books and how you don't actually own them. I don't like that at all. And, you know, I'm not feeling real great about Amazon anymore either. So, yeah, it looks like that's the way I'm going to be going. Little update for the 500 book challenge. And I guess I, that's all I have to say. Do you have anything to say? No, he's just, he's just going to continue laughing at me. Okay, guys, I will catch you next time.